When talking about modern conflict, most agree that such a conflict will be fought in all dimensions possible. However, with an astonishing amount of modern equipment dependent on the electromagnetic spectrum, electronic warfare might as well be in the forefront of it all. But what exactly is electronic warfare? Let's find out in this week's episode of Explained. The electromagnetic spectrum consists of both visible and invisible ranges of the spectrum measured in megahertz. Strategically using these signals to intercept, locate, detect, disrupt, deceive, jam, protect and analyze are all examples of applying electronic warfare. So, in other words, electronic warfare, or EW, is all about using high-tech methods to prevail over enemy capabilities by exploiting the electromagnetic spectrum. Electronic warfare methods also use the electromagnetic spectrum to ensure friendly unimpeded access to it. Launched from air, sea, land, or space by crewed and uncrewed systems, electronic warfare tactics can target communication, radar or other military and civilian assets to gain strategic advantage. As such, EW can be employed in three different ways. Through offensive, defensive, and or supportive measures. The electronic attack, or EA, involves offensive use of directed energy, electromagnetic energy or anti-radiation weapons. The main intent is to degrade, neutralize or destroy enemies' combat assets that include personnel, facilities or equipment. The practice most commonly referred to as jamming on radar or communications systems belong to EA. This type of EA manipulates the electromagnetic spectrum to override radio transmissions or send false information to interfere with the enemy's ability to exchange information. Anti-radiation weapon systems use the electromagnetic spectrum to follow signals and directly destroy enemy broadcasting systems. The second type of electronic warfare is electronic protection, or EP. EP methods are aimed towards protecting friendly military assets from the effects of the electromagnetic spectrum's use that could affect combat capability. In essence, EP is the act of defeating electronic attacks. One of the most widespread methods of EP are the use of flares to distract infrared missiles that are following a trajectory in order to miss the target, and the use of spread spectrum technology to increase resistance against jamming and detection in communications. In recent years, thread suppression is usually achieved through various on-board and off-board systems that use cyber and multispectral radio frequency tools to detect, analyze and initiate responses to potential targets. The third method of EW is electronic warfare support, most commonly referred to as reconnaissance. As a subdivision of EW, electronic warfare support involves actions taken to intercept, detect, locate or localize sources of electromagnetic energy without any probable threat by an enemy. As the name suggests, this type of EW method focuses on immediately recognizing, prioritizing and targeting threats to support battlefield commanders. In recent years, electronic warfare support has evolved to incorporate a wide range of different processes and sub-methods. For instance, SIGINT, which stands for Signals Intelligence, is a related process that analyzes and identifies transmissions from sources like radars, radios and mobile phones that can be intercepted. EW has been an element of modern conflict since the first battlefield radios were introduced at the onset of World War I. While not a central part of the strategy back then, EW did have its place during the Great War. British forces used electromagnetic induction to disrupt German submarine communications, while the Germans retaliated by installing capacitors within the submarine that would fire when an electrical current went through them to render the enemy boat inoperable. As battlefield communication and radar technology evolved over the years, so have electronic warfare methods, with leading militaries allocating bigger and bigger portions of their defense budgets towards cutting-edge EW platforms. So, it is no secret that moving forward, electronic warfare will only continue to gain importance as our world becomes more technologically advanced. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.